this is another Monday Night Motivation. If you are o an OG, thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. Um, so it's been a rough week. I've been tired. I look tired. I mean, it's just been a rough week. Um, I've been, like I said, doing a lot of training at work. I hope everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. I know I had a very relaxing one. Um, but we're going to go into this tonight. And there are some people out here that are just saying the damnedest things. I don't know. I don't care if it's just and saying something inappropriate or saying something like race related or there's a lot of people out here talking reckless and you know i'm gonna just be honest sometimes you go low i'm gonna go low right with you um because i 110 percent believe in teaching people how to treat you, saying something when you see or hear somebody saying something that ain't, that just ain't cool. Well, I want to tell you a story about what happened to me today because it's really kind of bothering me and it's really kind of, it's really kind of triggering um, in a way. It just, it's just, it's irritating. Um, but also it's very important how you respond to someone who does this. And it's kind of on in a, a Karen moment, but it's also like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm going to try and make the situation or the story quick. So I go to Starbucks to get my coffee. There's a Starbucks where I work inside the building. I go and I get my coffee. There's been some issues with the espresso machine being down for several days or weeks or whatever. So I go to get my coffee. I find that the rent, that the uh, special machine is working. And so I know that I can order my coffee. So I ordered my coffee and, um, and I get my coffee and it just kind of doesn't taste like espresso. Um, it tastes kind of like steamed milk instead. And so one of the associates, um, said, oh, do you want me to remake that? And I'm like, no, nah, just take it. No big deal. And he's like, no, 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 I'll remake it. Well, the manager is there, but the manager is busy talking to a tech. Um, um, he's there trying to fix whatever the problem is. So no big deal. The other associate says, I'll help you. I'll make remake your drink. And when I'm done, I'll bring it to you. Cool. So I go back to my department. I'm doing whatever it is that I need to do. And he comes and drops it off. Well, when he comes and drops it off, the girl who made the first drink says, well, you know, you can always come over and tell me, um, um, talk to the person that's at the bar that made your drink that is a, that was a mistake. You know, you can, and so I'm thinking, no, I would have said something to you. I'm, I'm not afraid to say something to you, but you were involved in a conversation with your technician. And so I figured your associate took care of it. I didn't need to have, I didn't have to explain anything to you. And, but she comes off real kind of pokey, you know, and I'm like, okay. And then I got to thinking and I'm trying to talk to her and she's not listening. She walks away mid sentence, doesn't let me finish what I was going to say. So I'm like, okay. So then I relax because I'm like, don't you ever come over here and talk to me like that, but we're going to think about it for a minute. And I go back over to her and I go, oh, you know, you, do you do that to your regular customers? You know, if a customer has a problem or whatever, do you reprimand them and tell them who, who it is that they need to go and talk to? And she kind of looks at me and the first thing that she says is, I don't think you like me. like you like what she's like you know you, you know I thought that we were cool at the beginning but I don't think you like me I said what does that have to do with the drink not being made correctly your associate handling it 
And now you're coming and reprimanding me about me not coming and talking to you. And when I confront you about that was inappropriate for you to do, now it's about the level of love that I have for you. And I'm like, no, I'm like, we're adults and we're here to work. We don't have to like each other. I, you just made my drink wrong. You're a human being. No big deal. No big, no muss, no fuss. I'm not making no big deal about this. So another employee sees that we're kind of talking back and forth. I cut the conversation off because she had some customers that were coming into, into the line. And so I go upstairs. Well, the girl's like, you know, what was going on there? And so I'm kind of just in a low voice talking to another employee about, you know, what, what had happened. This girl comes upstairs and goes, and see, you're talking to other people about it. And I like, okay, you have poked the bear enough. One, I say what I want to whoever I want. And two, I don't have to necessarily like you. I'm a customer, I'm paying $6 for my coffee, and I want my coffee made right. It is not about how how much or me not liking you. I've never given you any reason to feel like I don't like you. Um, we haven't been in any kind of, you know, disagreement or altercation or anything like that for you to think that I don't like you. But how are we talking about this now when we should be talking about how you approached me the first time about my drink? And seems like now you're trying to make it seem like it's something that I could have done. So it's like, and then it was like, you don't like me and you, you, uh, at first I thought we were cool. And then she's like, calm down. Why are you so upset? Uh, just was pulling out every trick she had in her bag. And it's like, no, we're going to stay on topic. And you came with this energy. You're poking me. You're telling me what who I need to talk to when I have a problem. You're telling me that I can't have another conversation with someone else about it. You're poking the bear. And then when I meet you at that energy, then you're like, I can't calm down. No, no, no. It's like, we really need to watch which, what we say. Um, we have to watch how we say things to people. Um, some situations um, don't have to turn into big situations. We're going to stay on topic. We're not going to talk about like me not liking you. So is this the reason why you've come in so heavy with this whole situation is because you think that I don't like you when I don't have, it's not that I don't even, it's not that I, that I, I don't like her. I don't have a problem with her, but it's also okay for me just not to like you if I just don't want to like you. I'm a customer. I'm here to get coffee. I'm not here to like hug you and rub backs and do all that before I get my cup of coffee. I, I it, When you're in the workplace, we don't have to be friends. We just have to do our jobs. And so it's like there was another situation that happened with another employee earlier, um, earlier in the week um, in that... Um, and that uh, uh, situation had to do with um, inappropriate talk about race. And it's like, no, there's some things in the workplace that we don't talk about. That's race, religion, and politics. We don't do it. We're, we're not here for to hear other people's opinions. We're here to work, and then we're here, we, we go home. That's, that's just it. So I guess my Monday night motivation tonight is you can always, it's a teachable moment because I taught that girl what you're not going to do. You're, you're, I'm going to teach you how to treat me. Um, we're not going to go off of feelings. We're just going to stay with facts and you need to watch how you approach people because some people will go low with you. So, um, and frankly, quite frankly, I'm tired of taking the high road, but I'm also don't want to expel that much energy, but it's like, 
you know, because I'll go low with you. You don't want me to go low with you because it's not a good thing. It's just not. Um, but yeah, but watch what you say to other people. Stop being a hit dog and, and being so sensitive and um, uh, making one situation being about something else. Just kind of be careful how you treat people out here. Be careful how you're talking to people. Be careful how you choose to approach certain situations. We got some people out here that are that are that are loading guns and that are doing some crazy stuff in our world um, due to uh, sensitivity. So be teach people how to treat you, but do it in such a way where it's not hurting somebody's feelings. Um, but also watch what you're saying out here. Watch what you're saying. Watch how you're saying it. And just, just watch it because it's not, you know, some people aren't going to have the same energy as me. And I'm quite frankly, I'm tired of, tired of taking the high road. I'm just sometimes I want to go low with you. So I hope that that makes sense. I know this is a long Monday night motivation, but I just had to kind of get it out there because I'm just, I'm just really exhausted with people just. Uh, just vomiting out the mouth and not really thinking before they speak or not really thinking before they choose to handle a situation in a specific way. Um, we don't always have to be so sensitive out here. It doesn't always have to be our way. We don't have to make small situations turn into big situations for no reason. So anyway, love you guys. I appreciate everybody that comes to my Monday Night Motivation. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit, hit, the, hit the thumbs up button. It does help me. Again, I'll say it again. Um, it helps me grow my channel. So thank you guys very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.